You are listening to Photocast, a podcast by Lloyd Williams and Phil Warren. We'll be talking all things photography, the wedding industry, and life as working professionals. Follow us on Instagram at Photocast and join us on Facebook by searching Photocast. Enjoy the episode. Well, birthday boy has joined us on Zoom. I know. Don't happy like birthday, day. Phil. Don't, don't feel a day over you. 39. We're going to drop a happy birthday track in there, I think. Yeah. Thank you. It's, it's a special <laughs> birthday today, isn't it? Look, on, on the YouTube, I won't be doing anything like that. It's just straight up normal, <laughs> normal uh, audio. I don't, yeah. It's, it's, it's a special one, though, isn't it? Today, the big 4 0. It is. I am 40 today. Uh, and Bright Harpis. It's come around pretty quickly, I've got to be honest. I, I don't know. Only, only yesterday it felt like I was sort of like 35 kind of mid you know, early thirties. <laughs> and then like, yeah, I think a lot of it is having kids and stuff, you know, they just accelerate, yeah. accelerate the years quickly. I um, bet they do. Yeah. yeah. You, you, and then, but then it all becomes about them as well, which is rightly so, you know, the way it should be like they, they opened up my birthday presents today. <laughs> today. <laughs> I was like, there you go, daddy. Well, I'll open it for you though. <laughs> so uh, they're know, itching to get inside of it. They were, they, they love it. And it's, it's, it's nice to see. Awesome. Again, I gotta be honest. It does make a, you know, Turn in uh, 40, Jesus. 40. Yeah, and you've managed to find yourself a quiet hour to, to nip out and do a, do a bit of podcasting. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Good I, on I, you. That, look at that, yeah. guys. That is dedication. It to is the, dedication. It is dedication <laughs> to the podcast, that is. <laughs> no, I wouldn't miss this to the world. I do I do enjoy it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's keeping, me, it's keeping me, me feeling young as I live vicariously through you. <laughs> yeah. It's a good word, that, isn't it? I learned that today, my 30, 40th birthday. Yeah. Um, you being younger and more, you know, able to do things other than <laughs> from me. Uh, yeah, I, I was. Um, yeah, it's, I'm, it's, only, it's, I'm only seven years younger than you. Uh, Although, yeah, but it's I did difference. have a bit of a scare actually because um, I was looking at my diary for 2022. Yeah. Um, obviously, I, I usually do that on Studio Ninja, so it's just got all my my work schedules in there. Yeah. But I was looking on my Apple calendars, and obviously, it's got my birthday in it. Yeah. So I was just scrolling through, and October. The 11th <laughs> popped up and it said Lloyd Williams' 35th birthday. And I was like, oh my God, that sounds bad. But obviously it's next year and my birthday's not till October. So I've still got, yeah, I'm still 33. But w- when I saw that, I was like, when oh my God. That, yeah. <laughs> it's just put, in a blink of an eye, it's just put two years yeah. on you. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I, well, to be honest, I mean, I should have been doing a wedding today. Um, I think I, I mentioned this before where, like, you, did, like yeah. you, you know, we got your birthday CRM. Wedding. You, you you tend to you, you go by the traffic lights on your CRM, don't you? You know you get an inquiry you do, yeah. and you just yeah. go um, if it's green, yeah, good to go. So you you know quite often you get a, you do get excited. <laughs> you didn't right? even you <laughs> so, didn't even spot your own birthday then. No, nah, not at all, not at all. I just yeah. saw I just saw like twelve, um, and then yeah, it was not it wasn't like an orange thing after. It. I was like, yeah, I'm yeah, fine, yeah. <laughs> I'm fine, yeah. <laughs> crack on. So um, <laughs> I don't know, lucky and lucky they've they've postponed their wedding, which is, you know, a lot of the case, a lot of the time. So it just means that I've got really a birthday now where I can't actually do anything on. So, mm. It, mm. you know, but hopefully that's, uh, that's going to change. And, um, judging by the announcement today, I guess we, we can get, get into that. I don't want to talk about my birthday too much. Just, you know, <laughs> I, it's, it's not, it's not about you me, wanna, Lloyd. It's not about you me. You want to talk about the Welsh government and COVID it's, instead. It's not about me. You know what I mean? This this podcast, even though it's just me and you, it's not about us. It's not, it's no, not about me, it's not course. about you. No. <laughs> Let's talk about the Welsh government instead. Uh, yeah, we've had some news today, haven't we? Finally. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's um, Some good news. Oh, uh, it, which... It's great, great news. Well, it, it is, it is, yeah. Yeah, because my heat didn't reason? Really go up. <laughs> the hairdressers are open. Yes. <laughs> I for can't me, wait. For me, being the follically challenged one of the two, <laughs> doesn't affect I had a haircut earlier on. I know I've mentioned it a few times, but yeah, I can't <laughs> wait to, to get get a trim on this uh, mop of hair that I got going on. I like it. But it was mad because um, obviously I didn't, I don't think anyone knew what the news was going to be today. But um, this week, my barber, I didn't see it until six hours after he posted it. But he basically said, there's a really strong rumor that from next week we'll be allowed to open. So a bit of a gamble, but I'm going to open up my diary for next week and everyone can book. Um, if that news is false and it doesn't happen, then obviously I'm sorry, you've wasted like a minute of your time going on the app, <laughs> booking your haircut. Um, so yeah, by the time I saw the post six hours later and I went on the app to book, um, the whole week had sold out. So, uh, I booked in for the following Monday. So I've got to wait another, 
another nine days, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It'll it's be fine. worth the wait. It is. It'll be worth the wait. I mean, I have my... my haircut since November. Oh, really? Is it... So that's quite a long time. Yeah. 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 I, I had my haircut this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I realised I, 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 uh, I, I had a couple of photographs. My, my wife took some photographs of me, sort of, uh, she picked me up um, to go home for lunch. Uh-huh. So she, she made me some lunch. And uh, mm. she took a couple of photographs of me in the car, and I realised I I looked like I could be selling a big issue. I I, I had oh, like really? who's, I, my who's getting that bad? Is it snowboarding jacket on with a like a red hoodie on underneath, um, <laughs> and it's just a beard. Um, I, I was going to say hair, but it just grows out the side like kind of sideshow Bob. Um, yeah. Oh, no, another another Simpsons character. But I just looked at that photograph. I went, oh yeah, this you got to sort yourself out, Phil. So yeah, haircut, haircut this morning and uh, I come down here. Um, I've mentioned before, there's a hairdressers below. They, they, yeah. are down, they are downstairs right now, frantically running around, getting everything ready, you know, because they... they well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's funny you should say that because it's exactly the same yeah. with me. I, I've got a hairdressers downstairs. Um, we don't interfere as much, you know. Yeah. They don't provide me heat in like, like they do you. And, uh, <laughs> that's you that's, only, really, them. that's <laughs> only reason I wanted to open <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when I walked past this morning to, to open the door, I I put my head in and I said, "Oh, God, you know, they were there redecorating, putting all things that you know." <laughs> obviously, they haven't been able to work yeah. since uh, December, but uh, it's a, it's an, it's a funny one. I, I you know I got no problems you know opening and I just accept whatever the government says. But I didn't think hairdressers would be going to be the first thing that opened. I'll be honest. I thought you know there's close oh, contact stuff. No, I thought I that. thought, yeah. thought it would have been kind of non-essential retail first maybe um hairdressers yeah, a little same. bit longer to give them a bit of a time to do things like they gotta do patch tests so when when they color people's hair i know way too much about hair and makeup i think for as i was gonna say that's a fancy term patch bald, testing yeah well i i only say because like a, a load of my instagram Coming from a bald uh, guy yeah i know <laughs> my um my instagram is just full of hair and makeup artists so like a lot yeah. of them they've got to do like um it's like skin sensitization I, I used to do yeah. that a lot, quite a bit when I was d- doing design work. Is like you basically have something in contact with you and to see if you have a reaction. So they've okay. got to put the dye on your skin like for up to 48 hours before to see if yeah. you've got a reaction and then bring you in. So they've got to do right. all that as well, you know, if they're going to color someone's hair. So yeah, um, I've God, only that's... ever colored my hair once and I was a teenager yeah. and I was drunk. <laughs> uh, yeah. I put one of those caps on where you just pull, oh, you just pull it through, yeah. through and I just, it just went peroxide. Uh, yeah. You look like, uh, yeah, something from back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're all awesome. over the place. It, it was funny. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I haven't really seen, I, I get, I guess similar to you, you kind of get, you see messages and other people telling you different stuff about what's opening, but obviously I saw, that mm. hairdressers mm. are going to be open on Monday. What, what's the next step? Is it non-essential I retail? Know, they, I, I didn't yeah. quite understand. It was like two points to it. So yeah, I um, they're going to start non-essential retail from the 22nd, which um, is next Is it next week? No, 10 days time. So it'd be week the Monday. following Monday, yeah. which is where my haircut is. Yeah, I should know the 22nd. Um, but yeah, that's what they said. It's going to be a, a, a phase reopening sector by sector. So... The hell does that mean? Well, I guess, you know, instead of opening up everyone at the same time, they'll say, you know, I'd imagine restaurants would be last in, mm. you know, it'll be um, gift shops or non-essential retail, you know. Yeah, yeah. Then it'll be, um, I don't know. What about us? What, where, where do you think well, um, studios obviously venues. Go well, I was going to ask you the same question because uh, I've seen a few people in some different groups on Facebook today saying, um, you know, about their studios because they're studio photographers. Um, somebody said to wait a month until like April the 12th. Yeah, yeah, that's is when they I... said, you know, um, but then another photographer mentioned that it would be okay to open from next week. So because that starts on the 22nd, which which is what he was referring to, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. But they haven't, obviously, photography studios isn't on a list of, uh, of no. sectors when, no, it is. when the government do updates or anything like that. So, you I, know, I, um, I guess. we have to wait and see. But I have actually got, I think I've got six photo shoots that are like in limbo at the moment. Yeah. And they most of them are vouchers that were purchased last, yeah, last year. Yeah, I've got a um, couple as well. I got a few newborns. I got a few outdoor family shoots to do. Um, yeah. 
which, you know, you probably could have gone and done the outdoor family shoots, but I haven't, mm. you know, I want to wait until, because yeah, if you're in a park or somewhere, or you're walking around the beach, you know, with, with cameras and stuff. Yeah. we. I, um, I guess we're okay, you know? but you're, you're almost. Yeah, we're okay because yeah, but you're, you're allowed in... to work wherever you want if you can't work from home. So we would technically be okay. But the fact that the people we're photographing, yeah. they are breaking the rules, you know, I wouldn't want to invite any of my clients onto a photo shoot with me and then have a 60 quid fine yeah you, <laughs> you you're, know? but you're almost you were at fault for almost encouraging exactly. them to be there you know you, you're exactly um, so compl- i'm just gonna wait i'm just gonna yeah yeah, yeah. of course yeah that's a um, new word isn't it <laughs> mm. God, you're uh, yeah, coming out so, with all know, all these new words I, in I, your well, vocabulary I'm, I'm today. old i'm old so i'm wise I'm wise now. I'm wise now. <laughs> okay, I'm wiser by the minute. But have, you I, got a th- have you got a dictionary down there? I, or, I, or a thesaurus? It's just a microphone. We can't see. It's just oh, yeah. Siri, Siri it is. <laughs> but I, I, like you, I, I didn't quite understand the difference between like, you know, they said all of them are going to be open. Um, mm. my, my, this place is down as retail. So there isn't like it been in terms of the business. There isn't yeah. really any, anything that differentiates it between this and uh, like you said a gift shop so mm. i'm not quite unsure unsure like when because like you said a photography studio is never listed on those things of yes you can open no you can't yeah 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 of course um but i don't know i don't know what, um, I, what I also did see <laughs> i don't know if you saw is it was in the the grants available for for places that got to be closed in this this time if for the next obviously um if we are retail and we got to close it's between four to five thousand pounds between now and which would be April April of the twelfth. I mean I don't know about you, Lloyd, but I think I'd rather take that and it could be closed until the April the twelfth. You know, I'll just go and put the close sign on my door now. <laughs> I know. Turn it around. That's, Open that's the a business. lot, of, that's no, a lot of money, isn't it? That is a lot of money. It's more than we Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um I think most of that money's gonna go to restaurants and pubs, isn't it? I think so. I think so, yeah. You know, um, because obviously and rightly they are, so. And rightly so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, they're the establishments that that are hosting these gatherings of lots of people. So yeah. obviously, they want to. They've hopefully learned from the previous two mm. lockdowns. You know, and um, <laughs> but it was a bit confusing as well. The fact that they said, you know, it's a it's a stay local, mm. um, because they've also mentioned today that accommodation can open from the 29th of 29th, March. 29th, yeah, I did see that. So obviously this new place um, of Alice's is, is, um, is ready to go. Yeah. We just finished it off this week now. So um, cool. we got a photo shoot to do on the weekend um, yeah. and then open it up for bookings. So that's allowed from the 29th. However, yeah. there's still a stay local in place. So, you know, obviously well, most of her, yeah, her holiday local, makers then, then they aren't. No. within a five mile radius so that's yeah. a bit of a, a shady area maybe there'll be some more guidance you know you, you, in the next two weeks but i'm sure yeah. there will be but you yeah, know that that was just a bit confusing because technically then if if you accepted guests that come from england or mid wales or anywhere up you know mm. anywhere other than five miles <laughs> yeah yeah do you know what i mean or, or do you um, think or do you think it'll do you be, do? Um, i don't know uh it'll be based on because lots of people try to book anyway, mm. which I thought was quite funny. You know, like every now and then a phone call will come through. Um, oh, hi, I'd like to book a room for this date, please. Yeah. Um, and obviously the first question is, um, is it a work visit or is it, you know, are you staying here to be able to do your job? Because that's yeah. allowed. Because it's business to business. And obviously everyone that does travel for work, you know, they've got... Um, a letter so, off their boss, you know, that Alice then has to forward on to the council. It's all so, it's all monitored very well. So, you know, it's, it's easy. They just email you the letter, you mm-hmm. send it on to the council. They know that you accepted that guest on that date and this is the work that they were doing. So the phone calls that come through, uh, they can't answer that question. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, Are you coming for work? And they're yeah, like, uh, uh, yeah, if yeah. I can stay, shall I say yes? <laughs> Yeah, and you can literally tell that's what's going through their minds, and and it's like, oh no, I'm sorry, you know, we can't accept you booking, you know. It's just, yeah. So everyone's I, trying their luck, and you know, I think everyone's had had enough. So yeah, I, <laughs> I, I to get think, away. I think you're right on that. The the other question I got, I guess, off the back of that is, 
business to business is allowed. So does that mean I could shoot a, like a corporate headshot in the studio? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you could. I think you could if it um, if you couldn't do that at their place of work though. But then it doesn't make a difference, really, does it? You know, if, weird, isn't it? I, I suppose if anything, if you have to take um, a headshot of one person in a company, and let's say they got fifty people in their office, you going there is more risky than one person leaving that office to come to your studio because there's only two of you there. Yeah, with your mixing and with well. Depends You're not mixing you, with the 50 yeah. people directly, yeah. But, but you yeah, know, I, look, you, I, you get what I'm saying. I don't. I just. I just don't <laughs> get it anymore. I mean, I think that it's going to get to the point where, like you said, people are going to get fed up to the point where they just go. I'm looking at these numbers of cases and deaths like plummeting. The in- massive increase of vaccines being rolled out, and they just go in. Mm. Why? Why can't I get my hair cut? Or you know, obviously you can now on Monday, but yeah. I, I don't know if it like when you got Mark Drakeford coming on yesterday and, and saying something along the lines of, oh, it's not going to be back to normal this year. People are like mm. looking at him going, are you serious? You can't say stuff like that because one, you don't know, you know, it, it's a yeah. virus. But two, Especially when, when Boris is there telling yeah. everyone that on, on the 21st of June, you know, everything's Everything, fine. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, but he, it, he's probably going to have to, have to change that i would have thought and then he's, he's been know, a bit cavalier gonna, with that hasn't he he's gonna be a, a proper villain then isn't he you but, know but also i mean that's fine to do i think but it, you have to back it up with the fact of it we will open up if x y and z ha- happens you can't just say everything's fine from this date onwards because you just don't know you have no idea yeah 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 but, yeah but, and that, but i think that, he's only based it on on the vaccine rollout yeah yeah and, and on, but, a, on an estimated like um, mm. Kind of average fall of the of the cases and deaths and stuff. Yeah, but you can't. I think it's just foolish to just to go. What what what's that doing for anybody? That's not yeah. helping anything, is it? But just by being negative, it's certainly not. Certainly not boosting morale. <laughs> no, not at all. It's not at all. You, you, I think at the moment people need a bit of positivity. They need some ca- carrots to be dangled a little bit, not yeah. doom and gloom, yeah, yeah. which it just seems like that's what's happening. And I get it. I understand, you know, we do have to have a bit of a softy, softy approach, but just to come on and be negative like that, when people are just, you know, at the wits end, um, you know, people are mm. losing their livelihoods and, you know, they, they struggling because of everything that's going on. And obviously, you know, we don't want to go backwards, but to say that the entire year is going to be lost to this again, it's not what you want a year in the third month of the year. So no, of course, yeah, yeah. And Especially I, when everything else is looking optimistic, um, extremely good. You know, I'd want to hope that what he was referring to, uh, which is why I've heard others kind of mention, is the fact that we might have to wear masks next winter. Yeah, we might have to have a bit of social distancing in the place, and you know, but I can deal with that. That's fine. Yeah, you know? but I, obviously the virus, um, you know, is more infectious in the colder weather. Mm. as we've already witnessed with this second yeah. wave that we had over Christmas time, you know? So yeah, that's... if you can have a relatively normal year and then when yeah. it starts getting cold in November, fine, you fine. have but... to, you know, yeah. Absolutely. There's ways cool. to say things like that though, isn't it? That's the, pro- that, yeah. that's yeah, the yeah, issue yeah. that people have had. It's just that it seems to come think... on and go, oh, it, we won't have a normal year. You know, it's just like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't you dare have a bit of uh, a beat, you know, <laughs> about uh, I think that's why this. people call him uh, Mark Dripford, isn't it? Dripford, yeah. Just Dripford. Uh, just stick to the facts. That's what I like. Just stick to the facts. It's like, look, it's going to yeah. go this way or this way. If you do this, you're going to get this. It's This is where it's at now. We're doing the right thing. This is when we're opening. Job done. We'd like to open by this date. But, mm. and you know, and even by the 12th, we might not even, if he said, look, it's going to be open by the 12th, if all of a sudden the cases just start going back up, it's not going to happen. But just say yeah, that, at yeah, least it just gives it, it manages expectations a bit better than him coming on and going, yeah. the rest of the year is fucked. <laughs> Especially yeah. because there was like no mention whatsoever about weddings. No. Or yeah, wedding we, venues we, or or wedding numbers. Just left but, in the know. lurch again, and we, you know. It's, yeah. And, all right, you know, there's, there's big industries around there, but it, it just always seems to be left in the lurch. And it, you know, yeah. it does bring yeah, a yeah. decent amount of money to the economy. So I, I, I you know. We'll have to wait yeah. and see, you know, but I think most weddings, you know, between now and, and May probably won't go ahead, but 
Yeah, I, the the only Again, ones as we said, as we said many <laughs> times before, it is yeah. what it is. I I think actually um, I've I've got a wedding next week, um, which is cool. Yeah, I, at but the I, vineyard in Clanner, um, well, but it was supposed tomorrow. to be thirty guests. <laughs> Oh, Mine, it's t- it is. Mine's tomorrow, so yeah, I'll let you know how it goes first. Yeah, uh, which we'll please. talk about next week as well, which is will be a, a nice, a nice thing to actually talk about, which is what the whole point of this <laughs> podcast should have been. But yeah, let's uh, talk about wedding photography. Yeah, I think. Look, you know, we it, got. We said we'd become experts about talking the talking no, about your Rona. But I know, I know. It's um. Here we go. Is what it is. It's gonna it, look if I if I scroll through my cal- um, calendar every month gains a wedding that's the way it seems so it's like march one two april uh, sorry march one wedding april two weddings may three yeah june five you know what i mean and all of a sudden it just starts going up so yeah yeah um i think good times are coming i think it's close isn't it come on it's it's your birthday it's It's your birthday i'm i'm excited i am excited (laughs) Uh, yeah i mean i I, i'm looking forward to it i'm I'm itching to start shooting weddings i gotta be honest i i really am. same here same here i'm looking forward to it's almost uh it's small it's almost um a one-year anniversary of lockdown Uh, i wonder if 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 people are going to start wishing uh each other happy lockdown oh yeah when when was the first one of this when was the first well, yeah, it was it was like I think twenty uh, first of March was it? And no, it must have been after that, wasn't it? Or was it? Were we actually in lockdown at that point? Well, that's when Boris told everyone to stay home. Wow, we'll have to go back. There you go, mm. ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. We'll figure out when our first birthday is, and we'll uh, we'll we'll celebrate by um, I'll, I'll put yeah. a, I don't know, a cake. Up somewhere, <laughs> little like decorations on the on the, on the screen. Yeah, so you've been up to anything this week? Is that enough? Is that everything on the Welsh government? I think that was pretty much everything that was announced. Was yeah, yeah, the, Not, yeah. The headlines were hairdressers, yeah. and um, what I we'll go, see what happens in a couple of weeks. But one question off the back of it, just um, to finish off about the Welsh government, do you think yeah. uh, because of the, the the announcement today, and you know the um. I guess the we pointing towards things opening up a little bit. Mm. How do you think that's going to affect your emails this week in terms of postponements and and inquiries as well? Good question. Look at that. Good Look, question. I'm getting good at this, and I I'm getting good at this. I mean, interview master. It's because I'm old and wise. That's like that's why I like. I tell you why. I tell you why. Um, we almost booked a holiday this week. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh come yeah. on, my God. give up, man! <laughs> Just give in. It's not you're not going on holidays this year. Mark Drakeford said, <laughs> "No, it's for next year." So, um, okay, a cruise next May. Nice. So there's there's one um, there's one week that I can do at the moment. <laughs> so there's a good deal on it at the moment. Um, yeah. So Alice was on the phone to the guys in America the other night and. Um, all ready to book. She had the Amex card in her hand. And I was like, mm, hang on, let's just wait and see what happens on Friday, just in case, you know, because obviously <laughs> if a handful of weddings possibly want to go on to that week and I've yeah. just booked a holiday, like, you know, I can't really go on all day. Yeah. So um, I said, let's just hold off and book it next week. And they're going to hold the price for us till next week anyway. Oh, that's so, cool. That's cool. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we almost booked it, but I, I just had last night like, ah, hang on. Yeah. Stop. I, stop. We, let's we, just we wait a couple of days and see what happens. You know, that's that's a responsible thing to do. Um, it is. <laughs> you know, but it's, even though it, I think it's like an eight day holiday or nine days, but it only falls over one weekend. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's why standard, um, I was keen, you know, on, on that particular one because a lot of them do fall over two weekends or they start on a weekend which means you obviously yeah. miss two yeah so um yeah just worked out that that would be a good one to do yeah so I, yeah I'm we'll not see sure, not we'll sure see. about you but may may for me is typically a really busy month same yeah june same. june is typically quieter um not sure why i always have a quiet month in june you know, it's fine. i have my quite well Obviously, it varies year on year, yeah. but and June usually is July is, is is the one month I do less. Mm. And then August. Obviously, you still do a yeah. lot, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not like you don't do anywhere in July. <laughs> you still do like six or seven or eight or whatever. Just not not <laughs> not double yeah. digits. I I'm always yeah probably like 
four, four or five in July. Um, mm. Sorry, in June. I don't know why. Like four. And then it's like yeah. way more than in, in July and August. But yeah. I, I know some June. photographers who've who've got kids, you know, they purposely book time off, you know, in the six weeks holidays in the summer, mm. even though that's, that's like the peak. Um, yeah, they take tough, like a it? month off. Yeah. That's tough. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, you know. we, we talked about holidays and we, we, our decision was we, we won't book anything until we know people are not going to postpone. So in other words, mm. we know that weddings are going to go into, you know, um, they're going to go ahead as normal uh, as planned. So yeah. we probably look at maybe like August uh, and I think we're going to go skiing next year as well. So I'm going to take the kids skiing. Nice. Gonna, that'd be cool. Yeah, we, we'll see. We'll see. But I, we just, I don't think our, our plan was because we have to do it a little bit more um, organized, I think, with the kids and stuff. Of course. Yeah. We yeah. To, yeah. We yeah. have to make sure <laughs> everything is like, you know, bang on and we're not going to. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like you know, and stuff, but, until the day comes yeah. that we have kids, obviously you can't just randomly book a holiday like yeah let's go here yeah, yeah. um yeah. <laughs> but this yeah. this holiday you go to russia uh estonia denmark finland you know some really cool places so that's cool looking cool. forward to that i i fancy it. i know you're a big big fan of the cruises i i do fancy i do fancy one. Mm. my uh, mother and father-in-law do it quite often and they they love it they absolutely yeah love it, it's so, um, it's odd because um quite a lot of people think it's like a really old person thing to do mm. you know yeah not not many of my well actually none of my friends go on cruises um or even people i know you know my facebook friends and stuff you yeah. know don't really see. um uh, yeah everyone i speak to they're just like oh it isn't that for old people <laughs> and it used to be it used to be you know 20 30 years ago but certainly not anymore you know the ships are are like floating cities and incredible things they're huge there's so much to do on them yeah. you know activities and stuff you know different Food restaurants is, bars. Awesome and... yeah yeah i am i am and the reason i like it is it's just the fact you get to go to different places all the time yeah you know? yeah that's that's what they like we're gonna book now we'll go to like four or five different countries i know it's only for a day but you know if you get up early and you get off off the ship nice and early you, you've got the whole day to yeah. explore where, wherever you're going and um yeah yeah i just enjoy that so it's good fun so i I, yeah i I always recommend to everyone even i've had a few of my clients uh, (laughs) have taken all my recommendations and they got a honeymoon on on yeah that's all right that's a good idea yeah do you give them a referral link you get some cash back (laughs) (laughs) you know what yeah you should be a bit bit clever over things like that shouldn't we well i'll tell you about my new business plan for this week Okay. Should we get into that next or do you want to, I got, <laughs> yeah, I, got I, I got one, one question before we, we do this because okay, it's based on. on the dates opening up. Go on. Does that mean on the 12th, we can actually do this in person? 12th of April. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see why not. Just do it. Just book it in. One year anniversary, uh, get together. Yeah. 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 Cool. There you go. So, That'd be cool. Cool. Um, moving on swiftly. What's, uh, the new, <laughs> what's the new business? Uh, Thing in. Is it a business proposition to me? Or is it, <laughs> <laughs> I, lo- I love how you're getting so excited yeah, about no, this. I, um, I, want, I want, I'm sort of shuffling forward on my chair. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, maybe do we, I had, I had, my, it's a joke idea, by the way. Right, okay. Okay, hope so. I was, I was um, ready to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. Well, no, I, I had my first experience this week with Hello Fresh. Right, okay. okay. Not, uh, have you ever not, ordered? not Gusto. <laughs> Gusto, no, that was a stupid mistake. We'll get to that in a second. But um, yeah, so Alice is, oh, look at who's laughing. Uh, I know. One of Alice's friends had a, a code for HelloFresh okay. uh, where you get five meals times two. So mm-hmm. it's 10 meals Damn for free. Is. You wow. don't, haven't even got to pay for postage or nothing. So it's completely free. So That's it incredible. was like a no brainer. So we signed up to that. Um, and you know what? I was really impressed. Really? Really impressed. I actually downloaded their app about yeah. two or three years ago yeah. with the intention of trying it out and I just never bothered. So, um, you know, it's nothing new, is it? Hello fresh. It's, you know, it's been around for yeah, a long time now, quite, isn't it? Been... quite, quite a few years. Yeah. Um, just never tried it. Um, because we do like cooking. Mm. Yeah. We're the same. You know, we do, we do cook pretty much every night. So, um, yeah, it was like 
no need to try it, whatever. But this deal was too good to turn down. So this week, all we've had for dinner for the last five nights has been HelloFresh. And you know what? It's been absolutely spot on. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair so, play. You've got bags in the fridge. Have you tried it before or anything no, similar? No, so, so we, we have, it's weird you're bringing it up and, you know, we don't just do mm. this for the podcast. It is genuinely something that me, me and the, and the wife, I always laugh when I call I've it. We've been the, discussing. The We've been talking about it. Yeah. So we, we were unsure, um, like a number of my friends, they do it. Uh, I think they prefer Gusto over HelloFresh. Mm. But again, I think sometimes you just go with whatever deal you can go with and just try it out. Yeah, just yeah, between exactly. the two, you know. So, um, yeah, keen to see kind of your experiences, really. So, how did you pick those ten? Did you pick them, or do you, what's the process? Yeah, yeah. That? Well, Alice chose them all um, <laughs> because she did it when I when I wasn't there. So, by the way, this Alice isn't thinking, sponsored ooh. by HelloFresh, is it? <laughs> yeah. No, we're not sponsored by HelloFresh. Maybe we should be if you are listening. We'd love to. Maybe be. we should send the edit to HelloFresh before yeah. we put it out and see if they're interested. I can, I can you hear know? people saying, oh, sellouts. It yeah. will be on Patreon next or something. <laughs> <laughs> selling we'll, courses, tag him. we'll tag Selling him. courses and stuff. But yeah, we we'll so, tag him with a, a timestamp. Yeah. yeah. So, so we, have a listen to this. So they no, give it, so you got a code with 10, 10 free meals or something. Yeah. Yeah. And so then, literally just chose which ones you wanted. I think yeah. there was about 30, 35 different uh, recipes to choose from. So yeah. she chose five. Um, she picked a few that I would enjoy because I wasn't there. So she picked um, two curries. Okay. But yeah. We, yeah, she knows we like you. a curry. She knows we you like well. A curry. <laughs> so um, that was all good. Um, and then it ran out and I was like, oh my God, I don't want this to end. This is class. Yeah. Um, so I went to Instagram and I, well, actually I went to Google first and yeah. I searched for Gusto to get a, to get an image to put on my story. <laughs> and um <laughs> I was fooled. It, it was the same color logo, <laughs> the same, pretty much the same font, just missing a U. It was Gus, no, uh, oh, it was it was Gusto instead of Gusto. So I put that on my story before I went to bed. Um, has anyone got a, you know, a code for me for, for Gusto. Gusto, 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 Gusto. Um, and then I realized then when I woke up, so it, it had been live all night. People had seen it. That I was like, ah, oh. uh, because Jenna, yeah. Right, yeah. Sorry. I can't take credit. It wasn't me that noticed it. I saw Jenna picked it up. Yeah. Jenna <laughs> picked up on it and uh, messaged me and said, uh, yeah, obviously she's a graphic designer. So she, she must have been raging inside, <laughs> you know, from yeah, a, design, fact- uh, a design point of view. So yeah, I corrected myself. Yeah. But the business idea, right? Okay. Here we go. There's vouchers flying around everywhere, right? And yeah. um, they are obviously encouraging you to recommend your friends. Yep, you get yep. 20 quid and they get 20 quid. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you have like 10 codes every time or something. So I was like, I'm going to start like okay. a pyramid scheme selling discount codes to people and getting people to sign up. And Okay. And then you never pay yeah. for food again. Interesting. I was like, literally, I've got so okay. many codes now for HelloFresh. I could just cold call people <laughs> and I'll say, you know, hi, I'm Lloyd from HelloFresh, you know, yeah. bloody, bloody, blah, blah, really sell them the meal. They get 20 quid for free. I get 20 quid. So if yeah, if I did that, I would I would technically get free food. Uh, it's it's genius, Lloyd. It's genius. Yeah, uh, I, I, I you know I, ah, joking. Of course it's not a business, but you know what I mean? Like I yeah. had about I asked for a code and I had about 16, 17 people reply with, with Seriously. codes. Seriously. Yeah. And they were all the same one. <laughs> See, it's, uh, I mean, all, there's literally <laughs> Gusto only do one deal. And that is, I think it's half price off your first box. And then yeah. the rest of the month, you get 30% off a week, right. which isn't bad. Yeah, fine. But because I had everything completely free, I was trying to, I was trying to find the uh, equivalent deal yeah. on, you know, on the rival company, but it was, it no, was nowhere no to be go. seen. But um, yeah, I, you know, I had loads of people, so. which says, you know, I was surprised then how many of my friends actually use it. Yeah, I, I think yeah. Uh, every, everyone I know that has used it said a great service. Um, I'm not sure how it fares, yeah, how, how it fared in lockdown with you know shortages of things and food and stuff, but no, it should be all good. So, are those- yeah, and the one thing that I was shocked at actually 
because everything's obviously pre-portioned out and it's all yeah. in its own bags. So you've got your recipe cards and it says, you know, the number's on. You just yeah. go to the fridge, you look for the bag with the number on, everything you need's in that bag. Um, the portion size is then on, on, on the meat. Yeah. Like if I'm, if I'm going to make anything of meat, I always probably put too much in, Yeah. you know, um, and then you probably <laughs> eat, eat more or you've got mm. a meal the next day or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I don't know, just a few of the dishes, you know, I, I've taken the meat, the meat part out of the, out of the fridge and it's like, oh, this is enough for a starter yeah. for me, <laughs> just for one person. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like we made chili con carne the other night and it was just like, I've never seen such a little amount of minced beef. Mm. I usually go for, you know, yeah, pack a kilo. Whatever it is, like a throw yeah, in like a five hundred gram minimum. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, absolutely yeah, no something. waste, no waste at all. Obviously, it was spot just, on was it? Yeah, everything was really, um, you know, the flavors were nice. You know, it, it was well thought out. It, it was nice combinations together. Um, cool. It's good. Yeah. I, I'll I'll try it. But, so, but the so best that... thing about it was was not deciding what to eat. Ah, like, look. We don't do a weekly shop or, or yeah. you know, a fortnightly shop. We literally just go to the shop when it's like, right, okay, what should we have? Yeah. Which is probably I, the wrong thing to do in COVID. Um, yeah. Although obviously but, it, in the peaks we were, we were doing weekly shops, but generally speaking in life, we, we don't weekly shop. So it's mm. totally took out the, oh, what should we have tonight? And that's quite similar sometimes to Netflix. You know, when you go into Netflix and you're like, let's watch a film and then half an hour later, you, st- yeah. <laughs> you still haven't started. Know. You know, that's quite similar sometimes yeah. if you've had a busy day, it's like, what should we have for food tonight? I don't know. But, you know, you didn't have that. It was just mm. literally, okay, let's this choose from this, this, this or this. And yeah. it's all in the fridge. Boom. That's done. Great Thank idea. you very much. I, I mean, yeah. for us, we, we were looking at it for similar sort of things. Exactly. Like you said, we weren't sure what the, to eat, but also mm. like we, do, we, we don't particularly like cooking twice. We try and make sure the kids eat the same way what we eat, so it's good food. Yeah, yeah. Um, of but with kids, sometimes they don't even want food. So, mm. so it would be a case of like if you got something like that, then you can cook twice because you don't got to think about the second thing. You just cook it. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's all yeah. there. It's all prep. You know, is it prep? Most of it, it is prep, isn't it? Most of it is uh, prep. no, no. You got to so cut your own veg. Um, it's minimal though, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's not. Yeah, it's literally chopping it's up. It's not one of you and uh, you were curries you're doing for nine hours, is it? No, <laughs> you know, no. So it's, it's that's the re- thing. I haven't made one for like a couple of weeks, and I'm missing it. I'm going to make another one yeah. next week. So it's but that's it's a five hour affair. Forward, that is. Yeah, I know, but this is more. It's yeah, good food, but like, it's, it's more convenient than it. So for us, yeah. we were like, yeah, we get it. So, um, so th- basically, I want I want a code. <laughs> so give me some codes, Lloyd. I will give you. Show hey, me the if codes. You sign up, if you sign up to my pyramid scheme, <laughs> you can become a reseller of codes and uh, I'll, God, I'll look I, after you. I, I'll be honest though. I, I'm I'll, sick I'll be putting of, food on, oh. I'll be putting food on your table for you and your kids. I'm sick of pyramid schemes. I, I'm sick. <laughs> I, know. Of, I know people have been like out of that's work. Kind of why I made, there, but... That's kind of why I made the joke about it. Uh, what? Cause it's so, it's, I see so many of them it's uh, the, for the everything. Fa- the first thing at the moment, isn't it? the Lumi spa. Oh, look at him. Lumi spa. He knows. He knows. It's it's because I got so many makeup artists and hair, you know, hairdressers and stuff mm. on my Instagram. It's all it is. It's like, well, funnily enough, I'm sure you saw it. Um I'm sick of it. There was a Dyson um hair dryer. Yes. Going in a competition. Okay. I, I know it probably didn't didn't stand out to you because you haven't got any hair to dry. <laughs> yeah. I know. But um it was it was a local, I think they were beautician, right, maybe okay. makeup artist. Yeah. But they had bought one and just said, right, this promotion is going to cost me a, a Dyson yeah. hair dryer. It got shared like crazy amount of times because that was like a pretty yeah. decent price off of a small yeah. local. And I didn't track her followers or anything. Obviously I just saw it and, and Alice mm. told me about it and all just basically any, any girl, you know, uh, shared it to, to try and win it. And um, yeah, yeah. Her numbers went up by thousands. Yeah, I can like imagine thousands of thousands just because she put that up as a as a giveaway, you know. And but um it's um it's like uh, a friend of mine. But does I've seen lots of other people have copied cars. it now. Because you, I, I've seen that same promotion a yeah. number of times now, but it's from other people who've seen it and go, Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that as well, you know. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's I idea. guess I guess the effectiveness of it has worn off 
over time because you know but... <laughs> well i don't know pe- people love free shit don't they so it, it i think anytime you get yeah. a competition to win something they're going to be sharing it but a friend yeah. of mine does uh um raffles for cars so i think it's i got a feeling it's called win nice cars <laughs> i'm almost sure it is uh, like 99 percent sure yeah so you, you I've pay seen, like i've seen how that works yeah five pound raffle to win a you know a brand new car and they've mm. got to get over x amount to to um for the for the raffle to go ahead so uh, um it might be a thousand tickets or something to fight on a pop for a certain car yeah you know so um, that's yeah that's an interesting one because um it that's very similar to have you seen on some websites um you can pay to guess how many sweets are in a jar oh, yeah stuff like that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so like I, that is just gambling really isn't it but yeah, like you could is, put yeah. you could say right okay i'm gonna put a couple of quid into this because the yeah. prize is a car or whatever guess how many sweets are in the jar and yeah. it's spinning around and you know yeah, it's impossible to work it out but yeah, yeah. look i, I know, know someone who's won a car i i know one of my yeah, um, sure, yeah, previous grooms uh, uh, won a um a, a mark six mark seven golf you know he, he, uh, nice 20 grand's worth of car pretty much you know and he won it and, that's and not how just much like, did he pay uh like 10 quid ticket or something he was telling me the story about it he said he was like nice. on his art no it's a bit more than that or something he was on his ass i wonder well. if he wish he'd i wonder if <laughs> if it was just a one-off i wonder if he just uh, bought that ticket as if ah yeah let's let's have a go at that or because i bet some people would say right i'm going to allocate 500 pounds yeah, i'm yeah. going to buy as many tickets to see if i you know yeah i wonder which uh, kind of no, he, which side his, of the fence he was on his story was that was his last 10 quid in his pocket you know he, he no was way. he was yeah he said he was just moving house or something he was on his ass and he, he's like <laughs> i shouldn't have, i shouldn't have done it you know it was that bad it was getting that bad yeah. he, he went a car with it so yeah good you know just shows that's, that's nice you yeah. gotta be in it in it to win it <laughs> oh, you have. I, was, I, I, used to, I used to be in a I, when i used to work there was a, a raffle competition and it was run mm. by the IT department. And yeah. uh, so they'd done this raffle. And some, I heard some guy kicking up a fuss. And he's like, I don't understand why you've got to be in IT to win it. <laughs> you've got to be in it to win it. You thought it was because it was run by. He's just, I was like, shut up, you dick. <laughs> got to be in it to win it. Not in IT oh. to win it, you knob. Oh, um, yeah, so. Um, I can't was he a dad by any chance? I don't know. He's. Yeah, it could have been me kicking off. <laughs> I know I know that a Greg's incident today. I won't go into it. Mm. It'll, it'll bring me down. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. You had, um, you a, a birthday Greg's today. Did <laughs> yeah, you? I did. Well, no, it's one of the best things about uh, your birthday. You get a little free treat off Greg's. So I had a, I had a little little cookie, which I shouldn't do. I'm trying to lose weight at the moment again because <laughs> I've gone fat, haven't I? So that's one of the big a cookie of of this. It, of having a, I, I've got to make a wide sure angle I, lens higher. Yeah, well, it's not just that. I can I can say, look, you know, look back in a you know few weeks' time and go, yeah, you've lost some weight there, Phil. It's, it's accountability. Ah, each so, each episode on on the YouTube, yeah. you'll be able to see. It is a bit, we, yeah. Until it gets to one point, we won't be able to see you at all. We'd be yeah. like, where's yeah. Phil? <laughs> I just swapped <laughs> an eighty-five or a two hundred mil. <laughs> just swapped a two hundred <laughs> mil. You see my face come round. But, <laughs> no, I, it's. I think a lot of it is you know turning forty. I don't, I don't want to get back to where i was a couple of years ago especially where i've seen you know people tag you in a load of photographs for your birthday and a yeah, lot of those yeah. are from luckily facebook become like super popular and photographs and cell cell phone mobile phones yeah uh, photos cell become, phones yeah. you're watching too <laughs> much american tv um they come in popular after i lost a load of weight so luckily there's not a huge amount of fat fill right on facebook <laughs> so uh, I, there was a few of those photographs. I'm looking back and I go, oh, I, yeah, I've got to get back to that. I look, look way better than what you do now. So um, that's one of my goals now for being 40 is to get back to um, where I was. Sort of get about, back to your prime. Back to my prime. I'm like fine wine well, ride. So, you know what they say about 40? Life begins at 40. Does it? So, yeah, apparently okay. so. That's... There you go, Anne. Yeah. So I, I, you I heard like that I, one before, have you? I have. Life begins at forty. I, I just thought it was full of shit. I, it was just said I by forty-year-olds that <laughs> <laughs> they just want to make themselves feel better. Well, <laughs> we'll see. But no, yeah, I do want to. Give wanna, us a report. I do want to do something. Or I want a bit of a challenge or something. I think you know, 
especially I, I sat back last night, sat back, <laughs> contemplating life and whatever. Sat back with my and, slippers uh, on and my dressing gown <laughs> and, and my pipe. pipe. And stuff. Yeah. Um, but it was like, it was the first time in about, you know, nearly 30 years that I, that I've not played basketball for, for the longest amount of time. And, you know, mm. we, we haven't had, we've been robbed of a year, you know, of doing things like you, you play golf, you know, you, how many times you played golf this year, uh, you know, in the past year, 12 months. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, well, actually, yeah, actually, I, I, I almost pulled out as a member for, um, <laughs> for the year. Really? You know, because he was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I didn't. But um, it's all back on today. Well, yeah, so, as of six o'clock tonight, we can book golf for next week. So, uh, oh, really? Oh, my yeah, dad's going to be landed then. Yeah, I'm looking so, forward to that. So I might, I might even take games. that up a little bit like now. I have a couple of, a bit of a knock on my dad at some point, I think. Nice. Um, yeah, nice, but I, yeah. I just think I, I just I don't know. I just want a ch- bit of a challenge now. I want something, you know. I feel quite, quite relaxed now in in terms of life and you know where we're at with the business and stuff. I feel feeling that you know in a, in a decent spot. Mm. I just think now is the time to, to know just. Oh, just look enjoy at him my, getting enjoy all, myself. all philosophical on his fortieth birthday. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Come on, let's change the subject. Let's change the subject. What else we got to talk about? So I want to ask you about yeah. your IKEA experience because oh, yeah. last last week we uh, <laughs> I talked so, you through my IKEA life hack for beating the queue in the click and collect. So yeah. have you tried it? So I got well, I got I, it, I got all buoyed up. I got excited. I got I was I was raring to go. I was like I love the sound of what you've just done. <laughs> and plus, I needed a bunch of stuff for the for the studio. Don't tell me you you purposely ordered something from IKEA just to try it out. Well. You'd be like, oh, I know, I'll order the like the cheapest thing just to go and pick it up, just to try it out. Some say we do things for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I'm, that's, that's what I'm getting at. Um, no, no, genuinely, no, the, the, there's a number of things to buy. I, I've been f- kind of moving things around in the studio. Obviously, when you see this angle, you see like there's a plant that appeared, and I, I'm still figuring out what I want, but also um, just making things tidier and stuff. And and I did need a little unit that's kind of behind this camera just to house my server and. Um, whatever a few bits and bobs yeah and uh fi- just a few finishing touches around here because i uh, i'm doing a, a promo video in the studio for the loft through mm-hmm. um cardiff um, or university of wales it, it's sort of um, part of their coursework um a freebie if you want to you know mm. <laughs> slave labor whatever <laughs> i thought oh, I'll, I'll just order a few bits <clears throat> Yeah, I'll go down, use Lloyd's life hack, and uh, it fell flat in his face. Oh, because what I, happened? I, I don't. Well, I, I don't even think you can order anything from Cardiff yet, at the moment. Okay. Because every time I've gone through it, so I've gone. I've previously when you've gone on to IKEA, you click. I thought click you were going to say it fell flat on his face because you called them. No, this is the thing. I didn't, the and, oh, I didn't get that far. I didn't get that far. You didn't even get the order in there. No, nah, I, 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 oh. was, I, I was, I fell at the first hurdle. I was devastated. I, 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 Savage. I, normally you go on and you check a product and you have a look at the, you could check the stock at different stores. It, yeah, it yeah. doesn't even say that anymore. Hmm, so I, I got on, I got on my Twitter horse and said, "Damn you, IKEA! How dare you take away my uh, Calax unit and yeah, uh, yeah. and and ribber frames." Uh, <laughs> Um, but I, I, I don't know. I think, I, yeah, I, I don't know if it's broke or something. I don't even. It was such a, it was such a well-oiled system. Yeah, but I, it makes me think you can't actually do a click and collect at, at Cardiff anymore, or currently, because mm. every every unless, product that I've checked, unless never all, comes all up the with things, Cardiff. Yeah, unless the things that you, I know there yeah, was a I bug on random the website. stuff as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I checked like a, um, pack, a Pax wardrobe, and I know they got those in stock because that's the thing they build those for you, you know, in the mm. building thing. So I checked like a, a mirror or um, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of these <laughs> units. You know, I went a through, thorough, I was like, I'm, 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 investigation. I'm, I want to order something. <laughs> Did you try doing the same thing on Chrome? Yes. I tried on my phone There's, as well. So, uh, I, okay. God, this is commitment to Ikea. Yeah. I mean, no, I was going to say in, in Safari, I don't understand this happens with a few websites sometimes. Yeah. Safari it just doesn't work. You yeah, have to I've go on Chrome. That. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I, annoying. I don't understand how, because like, you know, that, that's Apple being 
the beast that they are, you'd think you know most most major yeah. websites would be able to work with the latest update to Safari. But yeah, I've had to yeah. use Chrome. I think that's something you, for, you, for different things. You, know, you you've got to keep in mind, especially if you're doing a new website, is always checking on both. You know, yeah. just to make sure yeah, yeah. both both render differently. But yeah, so mm. I'm 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 a bit annoyed. I was I was all raring to go, and I now mm. I'm 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 without potted plants, and and uh, I I don't know. What are you going to do? I, I, I had some random stuff. Honestly, I had like, um, well, if you want to borrow any stuff, if you want to borrow any, yeah, we, we, we've raided Ikea like three or four times in the last yeah. couple of us. We got, we got enough plants to start, start a shop. Yeah. I, um, I, I just need, I just need some finishing touches in here. I, I, I'm still trying to work out what I want to do in terms of like, I don't know, showing. The, the the photographs and so i i don't know it just yeah. i'm still i'm still figuring it all out i i guess the fact that i've been in here since july but i've not really had anyone in yet i'm figuring mm. out how, how yeah, i want to do it because i i do enjoy that side of things but yeah so that that, that was a okay. fail that was a big fail um but there you go speaking of a fail i know we've already talked about it but i just got to go back yep. a, a few minutes to hello fresh and gusto because um, Gusto. you pay and then you choose your food after you've paid. So I thought that was a bit of a backwards, like user experience. You know, like I thought you'd be able to choose your five meals and then once you've chosen them, then you pay. Yeah. No, like does it matter? You have to ag- Are all the no, all meals well, not price? really. But, but I said to Alice as I was doing it, I was like, oh, like this is odd because. Mm. Um, usually like you choose what you buy and before you buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Of I had to pay, I had to pay first and then, yeah. you know, and, and she was like, why are you on about it? It's fine. There's loads of recipes to choose from. And I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doubting no, the fact that I won't no, be able to find anything that I, I like or I'd want to eat. But I just thought that that's just a really weird, mm. almost like, um, <laughs> enter any credit card for a free trial. Yeah, <laughs> that as well. No, I was going to say like the way that your cash comes out of the cash point. So in the UK, you put your card in, yeah. you put your pin in, then you choose your cash, then your card comes out, then your cash comes out. Yeah. Some countries, it's all jumbled up. Right, yeah. So like, I have i don't know, I've read blogs and I've watched videos about people who have, um, and I actually saw a guy do a talk about this, which is mm-hmm. why I'm so up to speed on it. Um, a, U- a UX, like, guru who did a talk at creative mornings about it but you could go to say denmark for example and your cash would come out first before your card so if you're so used to getting your card first and then your cash you would literally grab your cash and walk away and then you've left your card in the machine (laughs) or you know um yeah i just thought that is something that you never really think about or you know you just take for granted but it's somebody's job to design the the steps in which you take t- t- from you know yeah a to b um so obviously they thought about that at hello fresh because they wouldn't have just kind of made that error you know it's um but because it's it's such a as yeah as you said free trials you know it's not secure custom they want to get that payment and then let you have yeah. the product so because they've got a sign up then, do you know what I mean? Yeah, all those um meals the same price. <clears throat> well, it works yeah. out to, um it depends how many meals you have. It's it's cheaper per meal if you have five days a week instead of if you had yeah, three so, days a week or four. So if you had or, five if you ordered five, it doesn't matter which five, they're always the same price. Yeah, but they've yeah. got like premium, you know, they've got add-ons. Yeah. So if you want yeah. this dish, it's an extra two ninety nine, or if you want this yeah, one, it's can, extra one ninety nine. You can have like so, a Friday yeah. treat or something, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Which you know, I think that's pretty cool. Um, right, send me a code. I'm doing it. We'll do it. Yeah. And if, look, yeah, if yeah. anyone else is listening, they want to drop us some codes, some freebies on anything. We we love a freebie, yeah. So uh, if, if anyone, <laughs> oh, I know I, I told you about. <laughs> I've talked about it for quite a while now. But it's it, my it birthday, was, it like, just, just give me some free stuff. <laughs> we'll sort you out. We'll sort you out. But it was that whole uh, user experience thing yeah. that just kind of resonated with me because I just thought it was really weird that mm. that's you know with any like obviously it's, everything's done online now and you buy everything online, but it's you know you pay first and then 
and then choose what you have in. You know, it's just. Do you know what it's like? It's, it's like, like album sales. When you do when you commit to an you album mean? in the, in your um, wedding package, you pay for an album before your wedding. You're not even seeing your photographs yet. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, true. Yeah, that is very true, and that's actually part of um, part of my pitch on a you know on a Zoom call. Is I say yeah. you know there's there's no need to choose at this point if Are you we, want to buy an album yet because you, know, we, you haven't we, even seen your photos yet. We could do I, each other's sales, I think. <laughs> I reckon. Yeah, I, I, reckon. I genuinely think that our our conversation would be nigh on the same. We I think we've got the same mentality when mm. it comes to this. Same. Yeah, I think exactly so. the same. So, um, yeah, I think. I'm trying to think what I was always going to say, but yeah, anything else you got? Anything else I got? Well, yeah, yeah. the only other thing that's, that's been going on, which has been of, of much interest, was um, I did a bit of video work for okay. my friend Ramesh in Cardiff, who is a record producer. Yep. Um, I mentioned him on the mentioned podcast before, yep. probably a few months ago, because um, yeah. a few weeks ago, actually, because I, I went to do some pictures of his amps. Yeah. Um, on this visit, um, I was on video duty and a super easy job. He had his camera that he wanted me to use. Um, so I was just an operator, really. Um, basically, have you seen there's a new QuickBooks ad campaign with like a rock metal track, like Intuit QuickBooks? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah, I think it's pretty much impossible to ignore, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's on quite often. It's, like it's really catchy. See if yeah. Peloton advert every three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, Ramesh, um, it's a cover of a song, but um, he he basically made that cover. Him and, and another musician, um, they wrote and recorded the song. You know, last oh, cool. yeah, last year. So because it's been such a success, yeah, they want to do like a little behind the scenes of like the recording of it. All right. So basically, they were recreating recording that in the studio and i was yeah. just filming it all so it, it was kind of like recording a vlog yeah you know oh, that's cool um yeah yeah so literally he um he had to send the footage off to them and they had yeah. you know their in-house team of people just yeah, kind of cut that together but yeah. i i filmed it all for him because obviously he cool. he was working and he couldn't film it himself so yeah so yeah that you, was quite cool do you get heads up when that's gonna go out you know, to see um, like what, what they've done with your stuff. I'd love yeah, to see that. Um it'll be I think April. Awesome. So a couple of weeks' time. Um yeah, but yeah I, I will let I'll yeah. let you and everyone know. Um, yeah, we'll talk about it, how, I guess. How, how that turned out. But um yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? You I, wouldn't I would... know any different because all they did, you know, they recorded a bit of guitars and bass. Yeah didn't do any drums actually um but vocals you know in in the vocal booth and stuff so um yeah yeah, yeah that was that was interesting to see because cool. and especially <clears throat> to get to what you hear in the song it's like intuit quickbooks <laughs> and um and ramesh is like no nah, do it again just do it like slightly different like more pitch or you know yeah. more chirpy and you know and and he registers that as you know okay more chirpy like you know yeah if you ask me to say something or sing something chirpy it, it might be quite hard you know <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but for him yeah. you know this guy's a pro he's like yes I'm, and you know how many different takes hmm. to get that one like intuit quick books yeah you know, he was uh yeah it's cool cool, uh, it's good. cool to see happening to in front of you i, like, yeah. I love vlogs i gotta be honest i mean I, I i seem to spend most of my time watching youtube watching vlogs i i would I would love. Yeah, I, I want to do. I, I started back up again. Things. I didn't watch any YouTube for like a month, yeah. but um, yeah, I've watched a few things th th this week. I think uh, mostly travel vlogs. That's the you know that's the one yeah. that gets me because I'm like, oh, I want to go on yeah. holiday, so I'll just watch some travel vlogs instead. <laughs> <laughs> so it feels like yeah. I'm on holiday. Well, I, I the reason. Uh, oh god, I'm tired. Um, god, the reason we keep video up. Yeah, huh? I know. Like old man, <laughs> and I, I need my um cocoa and Look slippers out. and stuff. No, I mean, that's um, the first yawn I've ever witnessed on photographs. <laughs> and it's come on his 40th oh, birthday. We had, oh, that's uh, a sign. Oh, that's we a had sign. A, we've had a nightmare this week. We like kids have been getting up at six o'clock every morning. But then my dog is my dog's like, I don't know, he's 13 this year. He's, he'd never tell he's like a puppy, but 
I don't know. He, he uh-huh. must have eaten. He must have eaten something, and he spooed in the middle of the night. And you know, he's just like, just <laughs> had to clean it up. And it's like, we we haven't got much carpet oh. in the house, but it's on the you know, anyway. Um, I'm the, laughing because re- that <laughs> happened to me la- last night. Ah, oh, is it? Oh, oh. it's killer, eh? It's just well, we stayed down in John Street last night for the yeah. first time, um, and we had we had the dog with us. Right. So she didn't have a clue what was going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Like, I carried her in and she was like, what is this place? And like, <laughs> she's just really like, but um, yeah, we got everything's brand new in there. And yeah. she, she spewed on the bed <laughs> spreads, you know, uh-huh. on, all, all on the room, duvet cover. Everyone else, they could have been sick. And they, they, they yeah. know what they're doing. They know what they're yeah. doing. They're, like I've got. But she's I, too small to jump off the bed, see? So ah, uh, right. she right. wouldn't oh, like, my- yeah. It, she probably would have hated the fact that she'd done it on the bed, but oh, my dog she couldn't knows. get herself down. Yeah, my dog but usually she'd wake me up Shit. or you know tell yeah. me it was just a, yeah. a cheeky one. I was like, ah, oh. uh, my my dog knows he can open doors, so there's no excuse for him. You know, <laughs> like the entire downstairs doesn't have any carpet. There's you know, yeah. there's laminate and then there's tiles and stuff, and then we got a rug. And where is he sick? On the on rug. rug. You like come on. Really, this tiny this rug is tiny compared to all the other places you can be sick. So that's wrong. Exactly. So I apologize for the yawning. Okay. Um, yeah. No, for the, going back to the vlogs, one of the reasons I thought about it is because uh, last week I d- I done a video talking about kind of my experience and where I'm at now and how I got to where I am now, which sounds mm-hmm. awfully pretentious, but it just it was for my old school. Uh, one of the I was going to say it wasn't for like. To put on your Instagram story or anything like no, that. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not that, that <laughs> egotistical lied. Um, okay. So I, I, it was it was basically just to tell students that are doing art or de- and or design or both mm. that, you know, I I do what I do, but it's not necessarily what I actually trained in. You know, I didn't go to university for <laughs> photography and stuff. So I just talked about that and sort of where I'm where I'm at now and how you know it's funny isn't it because it almost job and almost makes you sound like a hypocrite when yeah you're saying that to to people that are studying yes but of course like yes yeah talks i do in uni yeah they're all studying photography yeah and i'm like exactly yeah i basically did the opposite of what you're doing (laughs) but but i (laughs) i it was easy for me to link it back around because i i went to um i done art and design in, in foundation course so part of art and design you do a module every week of art and design. So you might do fine art, you might do photography, you might do um, textiles, 3D design, and mm. so on. So I've I've done sort of a load of different things to do with, you know, the creative industry, even albeit for a week, but one of them was photography, <laughs> right? So I done yeah, photography yeah. for a week and I said, look, you know, at that time I thought it was rubbish. And I think a lot of it is the fact, this is what they were telling us within that week, you know, there's only mm. so much you can show in a week, but it didn't get my imagination. But mm. as you know, most of things like, you know, lighting and, 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 uh, the way you, people sit, you position people within light, it, it comes off the back of painters and artists and, you know, the Rembrandt lighting and stuff, you know, they're all, everything's kind of mm. linked. So it does have a come kind of full circle so i managed to link it back not a, not a case of like don't worry what you're doing now it doesn't matter because you might end up being a you know on a, a butcher's or something so i did link it back so it wasn't just like hypocritical yeah. and negative and stuff so yeah no um, like yeah it, it, it just I, i'm sure i'm sure it wouldn't have sounded that way but it, it just crosses <laughs> your mind when you when you're actually yes, saying those words to those yeah. students yeah you know it's like yeah i, I and and i so was funny. kind of like when she she told me, said, "Look, um, keep it, you know, like three minutes or something." What, what are you talking about? I'm going, Jesus, how, how am I going to do that? So mine was eight minutes, and I, hmm. I I wish I could have gone longer. So it it started make me think about actually doing it a little bit more about the YouTube thing and and actually talking about it. So I I am I am going to be doing it probably maybe a longer form version of it. It's a bit more interesting because it was like literally this angle. It was me just sat here, not as not as casual as I am now, but it was. It was like an ep- It was like an episode of Photocast. Was it, it was. I should have dropped it in. <laughs> should have name dropped. Not should I? So, um, yeah, it was. It was interesting. You know, some people enjoyed it, and I don't know if it helped. Hopefully, it did. But um, mm. it just led on to a, something else then. So, uh, 
someone from University of Wales got in touch, who, who I know, uh, asked me if I wanted to do like almost a little bit of mentoring for a, a second year student, for a photography student. Oh, I, was nice. like, I was like, yeah, yeah, fine. That's cool. I don't know, know what he learned from me, but I just went from it like, you know, mm. talking about like business side of things and just seeing what their course was doing. So that was, that was quite interesting. I think maybe we'll kind of talk. Yeah. About you probably that. like, I got asked to do um, an event with Alex Jenkins. Um, yeah. It was called a, a portfolio grill. It okay. called a grill session. So yeah. I had to, it was, it was kind of like, you know, I think there was five of us photographers from all, all, all kinds yeah. of different walks of life. And the students had like five minutes with us. And then when the buzzer went off, they hopped to the next one and whatever, yeah. everyone rotates around. But, you know, your brief was, you know, you're supposed to grill their portfolio and like really, yeah. really push for questions and stuff, you know? And um, I, I had that same feeling. I was like, oh, well, mm. what are they going to gain from me? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> but but after it, it was really, really yeah. nice to see like the feedback and and they, you know, and also to some of the like backgrounds and stuff, you know. It was, yeah, it was it, it, interesting um, to hear. Like, um, I think we don't give ourselves enough credit sometimes. We just, I think that's just the way we, we are. You know, there'd be a lot of other photographers, and we see that. Yeah, that that, that take different times. But, it, but um, what I'm trying to say is, like, it seemed like an event which you know just kind of just turn up and do this and go home and whatever. But like, yeah, I was like genuinely like, wow. Yeah. You know, there was, there was um, a student. She, I think she was from like, I want to say Hungary. Okay. Bulgaria, um, yeah. somewhere like that. And like, she like had to go and spend time with her auntie while her parents were working and uh, on a farm in the middle of, no, you know, and mm. she got pictures of all of this. And I was like, yeah. wow, this, this is what, this is, this is exactly what I want to go and, yeah. <laughs> spend yeah. time with 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 a family out out in the outback, you know, yeah. with no cars, you know, it was just like yeah, yeah. Oh, raw, wow. real raw. Like, I, yeah. yeah, I was like, this is amazing. You know? <laughs> but to her, she was just yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, with everyday life, whatever. This is just, you know, and I, mm. you know, I was like, wow, well, yeah, you know, I was inspired, inspired after it, you know. Yeah, I think cool. um, I'd like to do more of it because I think, uh, especially coming from what I've done previously in in design, there's there's almost um, there's a bit of a thought of like giving back you do you pass on your information and pass it down and back and stuff mm. uh, and i'm not sure you like i never had that with photography and i don't know you you were the same i never had anyone i could talk to and like mm. ask questions for and you know l- luckily we we do this now you know we we ask each other questions on certain things and um yeah, it's, nice, yeah. it's nice to be able to have that i think that's something i i missed really in 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 my development is like what i do um so mm. it, it, part of me i feel like you know yeah, I'd, I like to gi- I'd like to give back really um, same same so, here. yeah so i was like look i'm keen to keep doing this if you know if they want me to um i'm not interested that in, you know men if people want to ask me questions and mentoring and stuff yeah fine I ain't, i'm not doing it for like a business and i think i don't really care about stuff like that um yeah no exactly it's just, just nice to help out and just it's nice to give you time back to um yeah to others it is really, yeah you know that's kind of what, what i what i took from her and she 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 seemed like you know really appreciative and stuff i don't know whether i just melted a mind with kind of everything i went through and um yeah. you know it was just it was just a good conversation it was just really nice to like potentially help someone out but it, you know mm. in whatever they take from it i you know they they said they that she had a, an interest in wedding photography and she's thinking about it going forward and whether I, you know, put it off or, you know, kind of raise it up a little bit more, I, I've, no, I've no idea. So I'll, I'll just have to yeah. have to see what she does. So, But that's really good of, of the uni to try and facilitate that for her. Amazing. So, oh, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll put you in touch with, with somebody yeah. who's in that position, who is a working professional. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, nice. That's cool. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Cool. Right, let's uh, let's right leave there. everyone there. Let's, I know you got to go uh, and do the school yeah, run, haven't you? I have. I got to pick up my daughter. Yeah, bless her. She's and then have more excited. Have a happy a happy birthday afternoon. Yes, I will do. So uh, yeah, where can everyone find about uh, you and your stuff, Lloyd? As usual. As usual, look in the links in the show notes or in the description below. Yeah. Or if you nice. can't be bothered no. to do that, you can just <laughs> um, check out L Williams photo yeah. on Instagram, and then. 
yeah. click on the link in the bio and everything you need will be there yes cool uh i i do put you? the um the links to your instagram underneath these on, on youtube so obviously you can see it there but yeah i'm at phil warren photo and at loft studio uk as well so i'll ask across everything and uh, nice. hopefully hopefully we'll be starting to push this to through our facebook page now in the next couple of days i need to figure out how to do that i'm sure there's a way and uh if you've got any questions, feedback, reviews, anything you want to leave us, we yeah, let us know. Free codes, anything free. It's my <laughs> yeah. birthday. It's my birthday. So Espe- especially for food delivery codes, yes. we want to hear. We want to hear yeah. if you've got better than a fifty percent <laughs> off. <laughs> stuff. Definitely cool. Right, let's leave it there. Take care, guys. We'll uh, we'll catch you next week. All right, cheers, mate. Bye bye.